This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 serving North Alabama and Northeast Mississippi. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. We're live in Phil Camel, Alabama getting ready for basketball action tonight between the Red Bay Tigers and the Phil Camel Lady Bobcats. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight. Of course, we just finished up the county tournament and now we're getting ready to go for finish up this regular season before we get into the postseason. I'll go ahead and warn you early that our internet is not that good here at Phil Camel tonight. And uh, we're gonna do it on Facebook Live, but uh, you need a backup. Just in case it's not good on yours, you can always go to WRMGRadio.com. WRMGRadio.com. Click on the Red Bay link and listen to the game. And, of course, uh, I can already tell you that uh, the uh, Internet is going to be an issue here tonight. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And uh, I want to say hello to Denise back at Control Center and all you folks that are watching and listening to the game. It's always an honor to have you on a broadcast. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. The Red Bay Tigers and these Phil Campbell Bobcats, for some reason, the way they seed the county tournament, which is not, not very good, they had uh, Phil Campbell like a number four seed and Red Bay a number five seed. And you know, of course, Phil Campbell is definitely um, the number one seed in that uh, county tournament, but Red Bay ended up having to play them in the first game, which they probably should have been playing uh, maybe uh, Tharp Town in that first round or Vine. I don't know what those uh, seeds would have been if you had actually did a true seed on it. But nevertheless, the Tigers had that uh, tough game to start it. They were put out by these Phil Camel ladies uh, pretty early. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast tonight, once again, uh, Red Bay and Phil Campbell were about six minutes and 50 seconds away from getting this game underway tonight. Six minutes and 50 seconds. We've got some really, really great sponsors we'll be telling you about all evening long tonight. And they include Dickie Sparks CPA, also Red Bay Rentals, Mr. Johnny Weatherford, also the Belmont Restaurant, uh, open Tuesday uh, through Friday for lunch, 11 to 2. They're also on Sunday from 11 to 2, and you can order off the menu on Friday and Saturday nights from 4 to 9. Wallace and Glenda Williams, they got it going on, I can assure you that, and they would love to see you really, really soon uh, once again at the uh, – uh, Belmont Restaurant, Belmont Cafe in Belmont, Mississippi. They said they really appreciate uh, you folks in Red Bay coming over and eating with them. They have Red Bay folks all the time. Said they have as many folks in Red Bay as they do anywhere else coming, and that shows me that you enjoy their good hometown cooking from hometown folks. Wallace and Glenda, thank you so much. Once again, this is WRE TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm going to go ahead and warn you again, uh, you folks that are just getting online, that the Internet is not good at all here tonight. And uh, we're having to go off of a hot spot, and, of course, uh, it's just not good. So uh, the only bad thing about it is when you when you got problems like this right here, it keeps your mind occupied, uh, occupied with worried about that rather than the game, and that uh, that's not really what it, you should be having to worry with, if you know what I mean. But... Uh, but honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Our sponsors for the game tonight include Explore Liquidations. Don't forget about the big auction coming up January the 25th. Uh, that'll be, of course, on a Saturday night. You can start viewing what's going to be auctioned off at 3.30. The auction will begin at 5 o'clock. They're across from the Center Funeral Home. They're going to have all types of furniture, tools, mattresses, luggage, household items, and much more. That's at Explore Liquidation's Big Giant Auction on January the 25th in Fulton. Also, the city of Red Bay. Red Bay Nutrition, we're all about your health, located inside Chopaholics at 602 5th Street, Red Bay. They got the teas, meal replacement shakes. The teas are loaded with vitamins, energy, only 24 calories, no sugar or artificial sweeteners. Uh, and also, the shakes are between 190 and 250 calories, 24 to 27 grams of protein, and five, uh, five to 16 carbs. Low carb, go sugar, is what you get at Red Bay Nutrition. Also want to thank Bay Tree Gift Company, 256-349-1033. That's Laura Beth Roberts on our game here tonight. Swamp John's, you know Swamp John's has uh, got some brand new hours. They're open uh, at five o'clock in the morning, uh, five till seven. Uh, Monday through Thursday, then on Friday and Saturday, they're open 5 in the morning till 8 at night. Order off the full menu, and they're looking for you. I know it's uh, 
almost too late to tell you what they got tonight, but uh, we're talking about tonight was smoke night. You know, the ribs and the chicken and all that stuff, all the trimmings. Uh, you want to check out their Facebook page, the original Swamp Johns, the original Swamp Johns. And uh, i tell you what, uh, John and all the crew out there, they're ready. They're making some changes to be open more and uh, to serve you even better. Swamp Johns, 356-2300. Also, Franklin County Proby Judge Barry Moore on our broadcast here tonight. Also, the Bay Auto Service and Detailing. That's Benny and Holly Kirkendall. Oil lube filter featuring uh, all major brands of oil. Detailing inside and out. Pickup and delivery is available. And once again, uh, that is the Bay Auto Service and Detailing on the Golden Road. 256-376-2020. Also want to thank Shopaholics. Don't forget the latest fashions at affordable prices. All sizes ranging from small to 3X. And check out the website at shopaholicsboutique.com. Red Bay Yacht Club, uh, the restaurant located at Red Bay Acres RV Resort, 996 9th Street, Water Plant Road, serving seven days a week, opening up as early as 7 o'clock in the morning. Call them at 256-333-4438. Daily menu specials available, and, of course, they really appreciate your business. Go to redbayacres.com for a full menu. They say that Philly cheesesteak sandwich is big-time good. I know the burgers are good. State Senator Larry Stutz on our broadcast here tonight. Veronica Stancil reminds you to keep 30 years experience working for Franklin County. Re-elect Veronica Stancil for Revenue Commissioner on March the 3rd, and that's uh, this year. Good luck to the Tigers and the Bobcats tonight from Veronica Stancil. Also on the broadcast tonight is Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, located on the Golden Road on our broadcast, practicing since uh, 1993. You got Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Rose. Dr. Fabianca and his staff is located 209 Hospital Road. Family Medicine, Sports Medicine, and Geriatrics. Also, Alpha Insurance on the broadcast here today. You out there doing it? Thank you. Also, David Hester, your county commissioner, uh, reminds you that uh, he is a big time supporter of all the local sports here in Franklin County. He's running for re-election as your county commissioner. Vote for David Hester coming up as that early as March the 3rd. Paid political, paid for by David Hester. Uh, also on a broadcast tonight is B.J. L. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Necessities. Seven years, but 29 years experience. Your owner there, B.J. L. Rod Walters. You seen citizens get a 15% discount. And of course, she carries all the major, major, major brands. Hey, guys, these uh, people around here have no regard for cameras. They just walk right in front of you when they could go around the other way much easier. 662-676-4045, BJ's Hair Sestis. Also, 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse on our broadcast. Lori and Brent Collum and 356-2226. Now we're going to have the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers and the Bobcats. Destiny McAllister, Macy Faulkner, Number 20, Emma McAllister. 22 is Lila Blackman. And Cassidy Kirkendall getting the start tonight for the Red Bay Tigers. Once again, Destiny McAllister, Macy Faulkner, Emma McAllister, Lila Blackburn, and Cassidy Kirkendall. Now the starting lineups for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. Five is Olivia Taylor. Madison Branch getting the start tonight. Of course, Katie Thomas dressed out but not going to play tonight. There's uh, Miss Faith Cook. Casey Harris, number 22, getting the start tonight. And Callie Allen starting uh, for the ball club from Phil Campbell, Alabama.
Here's the starting lineups for Phil Campbell once again. It's Olivia Taylor, Madison Branch, Faith Cook, uh, Casey Harris, and Callie Allen. For the Red Bay Tigers tonight, it'll be Destiny McAllister, Macy Faulkner, Emma McAllister, Lila Blackburn, and Cassidy Kirkendall. If y'all won't be mad at me tonight, I don't think I'm going to keep that score up there right now because I don't want to do anything to mess up with the internet. So we're going to take that off. Phil Campbell in white, Red Bay in the blue. I'll tell you the score. You just stay there and keep monitoring the broadcast. Live coverage here on WRMG brought to you by Consider the Lilies. That's Angie and Ted LeMay. Don't forget Valentine's is around the corner. Get those flowers for the ladies and also those apples going wild, delicious gourmet apples. Red Bay's got it and we double dribble right off the bat. Lila Blackburn is charged with that turnover, so Red Bay turned that one over in a hurry. That'll get uh, Coach Kirkendall out of that jacket in a hurry. Allen with the ball out top of the key. This young lady can play some basketball. Works that ball right side to Branch to Harris. Harris back over to Callie. Callie drives, kicks it out in the corner. And the long shot in the corner is up. It is no good. Cassidy Kirkendall with a rebound after the missed shot there by Madison Branch. Red Bay basketball, 7.30 to go. Lila Blackburn to the free throw line, kicks it back out to Faulkner. Faulkner thought about it. Now she'll kick it back out to Emma McAllister. Emma will shoot the long three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound Kirkendall. She put it back up. No good. It's out of bounds. And it's going to go to Phil Campbell. Do me a favor, if you're watching on Facebook Live tonight, uh, make sure you send us a message and let us know that you're watching. And hopefully we got a lot of folks watching uh, Red Bay and Phil Camel tonight. Like I say, it's an honor to have you on the broadcast here tonight on WRMG, and we got a whistle and a foul at the 7.03 mark. It's against the Red Bay Tigers, blocking foul. And that is going to be against number 14 for Red Bay. That is Macy Faulkner getting the foul. Shot up no good by Phil Campbell. Red Bay got the rebound. Here's Lila Blackburn pushing up. Lila will take that ball to the right side. Back to Emma McAllister. We got two McAllisters out there. Emma and Destiny, sisters. Macy Faulkner thought about a long NBA shot. Now they go into Destiny. Destiny turns, faces the basket, puts it up good. Good job, Destiny. Tigers have got to figure out a way to get involved more in the scoring and more on the offensive end like they did in the playoffs last year. She just went crazy down at Wallace. And there's a shot inside the free throw line just a little bit. Allen makes it a 2-2 ball game with 6.24 to go, and the Tigers have turned that ball over. McAllister went right back to Lila Blackburn, and I'm not sure if Lila didn't see the pass coming, and uh, it's a turnover against the Red Bay Tigers. 2-2, two, two. two big turnovers already for the Tigers here in the first uh, minute and 35, 40 seconds. Allen at the top of the key. He's got uh, Harris over here on the right side. Harris being guarded by Emma McAllister. Stops, goes to Faith Cook. Faith right down the middle of the lane. Has her shot blocked, controlled by Callie Allen. Allen kicks it out. Branch will take about a 15 footer. Good. Four to two is the score. Red Bay finally gets it in. McAllister over to Faulkner. And Faulkner's pass stolen away. Madison Branch says, look what I found. Four to two, the score, 5.39 to go. Branch at the free throw line, and she has a ball stolen away by Lila Blackburn. Phil Campbell leads four to two, four to two, five twenty-eight to go. We're in the first quarter. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Driving in. Not sure why she didn't shoot that ball. We're talking about Lila Blackburn and the Tigers end up turning it over. She had a good look, went in there, pulled up, and she played unselfish there and tried to dish it off, and it was stolen away. Should have went up there and shot that one, Miss Lila. I believe you might have made it. Four to two the score. Here's Branch, free throw line, kicking it back out to Faith. Faith to the right side. Harris is open for the long three, in and out, no good. Rebound, we got a jump in the arrow point favor of Phil Campbell. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. You see the battle there on the rebound on our WRMG Alpha Insurance replay. Four to two the score. 
Branch free throw line back out to Harris. Casey dribbles that ball back out top of the key, goes to Faith Cook. Faith drives this way, kicks it back out to Branch in the corner. Branch's shot is no good. Rebound goes to number five. And not only did five uh, make it, she was fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Five is Olivia Taylor, and that'll make it a 6-2 ball game. We should look at it again on the Alpha Insurance replay, the missed shot there. And she gets it and puts it back up good and draws the foul. Free throw is up. It's no good. Four minutes and 36 seconds to go, and Macy Faulkner with a nice basket there by the Red Bay Tigers. I'm not sure if that scoreboard's right, is it? We ain't scored no nine points, have we? They got us up nine to six, and I knew that couldn't be right because we hadn't scored but four. So now they get the scoreboard corrected as six to four uh, Phil Campbell leading. They had us up uh, with nine points on the board. I knew we hadn't made but a couple of baskets. We would take that, uh, but that was not the correct score. Red Bay will have it, six to four the score. And Blackburn threw it away. She got it, tried to go right back to Emma McAllister, and that pass was wide right. And the Tigers, another turnover here. We're four away to go first quarter, down six to four. Harris, left side to Faith Cook. Faith brings that ball to the free throw line, looks for help. She's pulled up that dribble, and now the loose ball on it. Red Bay's got it, and Red Bay got a timeout. So a timeout. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on WRMG. Today's game brought to you by Charlie Nelson. He's a candidate for Franklin County Revenue Commissioner. And, of course, he says good luck to the Red Bay Tigers here tonight. Paid political, paid for by Charlie Nelson. He also says, Jack, say good luck to those Bobcats tonight. He's running for Revenue Commissioner right here in the big county of Franklin County, Alabama. Good luck, Charlie. That great tasting Carl Lewis sausage is available at Swamp John's. Also, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent, uh, superintendent of education on a broadcaster tonight, supporting these Franklin County teams. Also, Miller's Affordable Furniture in Russellville, your Ashley dealer. Right Place in Red Bay, the new venue for all parties and events from Chris and Leslie Wright. And also, don't forget Jason Miller, the People's Commissioner for District 2, running for re-election. He's on the Republican ticket, Jason Miller. And we've got a whistle and a foul against the Field Campbell Bobcats. Appreciate Kim Lindsay. It's so cute for you. She does all your screen printing and monogramming and does a wonderful job. You can reach her on Facebook or 256-668-0142. And we got to jump this this time the arrow should, well, let's see, the arrow's pointing back toward uh, Red Bay. If it is a jump, they apparently didn't flip it. I don't know. They give the ball to Phil Camel anyway. Apparently they hadn't flipped it around. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay live here on WRMG. Six to four the score. Under to have you on the broadcast we're live from Phil Camel, Alabama. Faith Stormont is fouled by the Red Bay Tigers, number 14, Macy Faulkner. Six to four, Phil Camel leads. Live coverage here on WRMG. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay. Allen over to Faith Cook. Faith on the right side. Works that ball in to number 12, who's checked into the ball game. That's Mackenzie Scott. No good. The Tigers have got it. Here's Lila Blackburn. 3-10 to go. Macy Faulkner, the long three. It's up and good. Take another look at that one on the Ivy Broadcasting Company's replay from Alpha in Church. And a great one at that. Honored to have you on a broadcast here on WRMG. Phil Camel down seven to six as the Red Bay Tigers got that big three, and now we got a whistle. 
And looks like a foul in the backcourt. Or not a foul, but a timeout in the backcourt. Let me give Macy her big three there. Seven to six, the score. We're going to slow this one down and show you on our Alpha Insurance replay the big three-pointer there from, uh, do you know we had instant replay? Do you know we had instant replay? Check this out. Show an instant replay of the shot there. Put it in a little slow-mo. Bring it back to the live action. Pretty neat, huh? Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Seven to six, the Red Bay Tigers are leading in the ball game over Phil Camel. Red Bay will have it. Red Bay has brought Kirsten Scott into the ball game. She's checking in for Faulkner. Faulkner has got a couple of fouls with 2.30 to go first quarter. Honored to have you on the broadcast. Make sure you share this if you're watching it. Make sure you share it if you're listening. I hadn't had a chance to look at it. Kirsten Scott's in some traffic there and the ball out of bounds, and Red Bay's still going to have the basketball. Denisa says we good everywhere. You folks that are watching, uh, like Andy Deaton and the others out there, make sure you share this. Ollie May offers Glover. There's old Jeff Odom checking in with us. Saying go to the Bobcats there. Long shot by the Tigers. It's up and no good. Andy Deaton, you said we didn't have any audio. Uh, I've, got, I've got audio when I go to my Facebook page and check it, so I don't know, I don't know what you're what it happened, Andy. Andy, don't scare me like that, telling me we haven't got any sound. I panicked then. Nine to six, Red Bay Tigers got that basket. That might have been when we was first going live or something. But you do have audio now, right, Andy? I want to say hello once again to all the folks out there. Dave and Jonah Thorne, Scott Webster with us this evening. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Taylor with the ball, the Red Bay Tigers have got a nine to six lead, nine to six lead. Taylor looks for help, kicks it back out. And now the ball is kicked and stolen away by the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay pushing it up the court, leading by a score of nine to six. Emma over to the right side of Blackburn. Blackburn lobs that ball into Destiny. Allen comes over the top, knocks it away. Bringing it down the court is Harris, and she is going to be fouled. Red Bay leads nine to six with 50 seconds to go. Free throw is up, it is no good. This is uh, number 22, Casey Harris shooting the free throws. Casey will have another one coming here. And it is up, it is no good. Rebound goes to Kirsten Scott. Good hustle there by Kirsten. And the Red Bay Tigers will bring it out up by three. Kirsten Scott over to Lila Blackman. Lila top of the key. Back over to Emma McCollister. And now number 12 reaches in there. Mackenzie Scott knocks it away and got the steal. She'll take it down, kicks it off to her teammate. Harris on the other side who missed it. And the Red Bay Tigers, Lila Blackburn, a big rebound. Tigers dodged a bullet right there. Nine to six the score. Long shot by the Tigers. No good, McCollister. Phil Campbell will bring it down with six seconds to go. Red Bay leads nine to six, three. I don't think they're gonna get a shot off. Nine to six, Red Bay. After one quarter, I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG. Thank you, Cardinal driving on our broadcast, Community Spirit Bank, Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Minson, your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. 
by Raper RV Shop, LLC. That's Eric Raper, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent by Med Express of Red Bay. Your nurse practitioner there is Wendy Orr. Also, Triple D's Bucket Service, Wright Body and RV Repair. That's Chris Wright by Allen and Ash, Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford. Also, big shout out to Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company by Tri State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, and Brenda Person. Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. Also, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Mara. The Red Bay Hospital owner broadcast here today. That's Miss Sherry Jolly. Redmont Heating and Cooling on our broadcast. That is, of course, um, Patrick Brooks, 662 uh, 279 6569. Also, the Banner Tire Store at 8320 Fairview Banner Road. Karen Duck Commander, plus many other brands. Jason Parker. Also, Redmont Pharmacy with JC Weeks and the staff on our broadcast here tonight. Red Bay leads 9 to 6 over Phil Camel and. Uh, Phil Camel. I didn't think she was going to play tonight, but uh, Katie Thomas is into the ball game. I just kind of assumed that she, she got hurt the other night. They had another young lady that got hurt the other night, uh, uh, Mills, that's not playing. So they missing a couple players, even though one of them's in there playing right now. You remember, uh, I guess, it Mills that had the head injury the other night, you know, Took a pretty good spiel. Nine to six the score. The Red Bay Tigers are on top. Thomas got the steal on the inbounds. Red Bay trying to get back, but not in time as number 32 got the layup. That's Trinity Vandiver getting that layup. And now we got a timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. It's nine to eight. Nine to eight. Phil Camel leading the Red Bay Tigers. I'm Jack Ivey live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Appreciate Denise back at Control Center. Let me tell you again that um, the internet is not good here. But uh, so far, we're holding out with the internet. Right now, it looks to be a little iffy there. But uh, thank you, Andy. Uh, once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm not. I'm gonna go check it now on my end here. But once again, uh, we hope you're enjoying our broadcast here. Red Bay and Phil Camel basketball. We're live in Phil Camel. Right now, the internet is not showing uh, as far as my signal not showing that good, so it might be a little choppy. But hopefully, that might clear up. If we was to totally lose it, you can always go to wrmgradio.com. That's wrmgradio.com and click on the Red Bay link, and I promise you, you can listen to it good there. So just bear with us, not our fault. We just don't have good internet. Red Bay bringing it down, and Lila Blackburn, another turnover for the Tigers. Thomas has got it. Thomas drives all the way in, puts it up, and a basket's up good. 10-9, to 9, Phil Campbell has taken the lead. And the Tigers turn it over again on the pass from Lila Blackburn was a little bit high and it was stolen away and we go back the other way and we're gonna have a foul. Blackburn was trying to hit the young lady cut into the basket there and just a little bit off pace there, 10 to nine. Phil Campbell leading, they'll go and that foul was against 23, Kirsten Scott gonna be charged with a foul. Shooting uh, is Madison Branch. Free throw is no good. She'll have another one coming here. Kirsten Scott has checked out of the ball game. And I believe we had a violation there. Red Bay stepped into the lane too quick. You got Cassidy Kirkendall, Destiny McAllister, Madison and McKenzie Hester and Macy Faulkner into the game for the Tigers. And the free throw this time is good by Branch. Destiny will check out of the ball game. And checking back in is Emma McAllister. It's 11 to nine. Red Bay on the inbounds. 
Cassidy let that ball go right between her hands and hit herself in the mouth, but Red Bay ended up hanging on to the basketball, didn't turn it over. Red Bay across the timeline, McKenzie tried to go to Kirkendall, stolen away. Number 32, Trinity Vanderford got it. 6.22 to go, Katie Thomas back out top of the key to Callie Allen. Left side to Branch. Inside to Thomas, Thomas turns and she is fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us here tonight. We're at the 6-11 mark of the second quarter. And Thomas couldn't get it to fall. It's still 11 to 9. Thomas will have another one here. It's up. It is good. Got to make it 12 to 9. 12 to 9. Phil Camel leading over the Red Bay Tigers. McAllister to Madison Hester. Madison looks for help. Able to get it over to Kirkendall. Back to McAllister. McAllister shoots the long three. It's up no good. Cassidy Kirkendall got it. Kicked it back to Emma. Emma will try another one. It's up and good. Good job there by Emma McAllister. Knocking that one down. We'll show that again on our Alpha Insurance replay. There you see her knocking down that three there. Thank you, John Cook at Alpha Insurance in Red Bay. And we got another whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. They took it down low. Trinity Vandiver did, and Trinity was fouled by the Tigers. She'll go to the line to shoot. We're all tied up 12 to 12. Emma McAllister with five, Macy Faulkner with five, and Destiny McAllister with two as far as the Red Bay score. Trinity Vandiver got the basket. To make it 13, Phil Campbell, 12 Red Bay Tigers. This shot is up. It is no good. Rebound to Madison Hester. Emma McAllister with it. Trying to lob it inside, the ball out of bounds. Red Bay's still gonna have it. We we'll apologize for their video stream. Uh, not working very well here in Field Camel. Thomas shot up, it's no good. If you're listening to our, or watching our Facebook Live broadcast, that is a foul against number 25 for the Tigers. That is Cassidy Kirkendall picking up her first foul. And Thomas's free throw is up and no good. Katie is one out of three so far at the line. And the free throw up, this one is good, so she's two out of four. Phil Campbell leads 13 to 12, 13 to 12. Red Bay Tigers, I've said it way too many times in this ball game. Turnovers, 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 way too many. 14 to 12 is the score. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Tigers try to go inside again. It's uh, Phil Camel getting this field, but she fell down, and the Tigers are going to get it uh, since she walked. Red Bay takes it in. Mackenzie Hester. Right side, McAllister. McAllister to the three, no good. Thomas with a rebound. And we're heading the other way. Here's Allen at the 4.30 mark. Allen pushes it up, drives in the lane, puts it up, no good. Got her own rebound. Again, it's no good. And this time the Red Bay Tigers have got that rebound. Long shot. Madison Hester got that one. We'll show you that on the Alpha Insurance replay. There she see a long shot up and good. Nicely done there, Madison. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. 
we stopped our stream on Facebook Live and restarted it. Thought that might help, and it looks like it did. But if we'll let you get back on. It's 15 to 14. Red Bay Tigers have on the uh, three-point shot by Madison Hester. Put the Tigers up by one with 3.36 to go. Madison. And she's got to go to uh, Faulkner. Uh, not Faulkner, but Bella West and the ball stolen away. Allen on the back door on the pass from Thomas is up and good. So we'll give that uh, basket there to Allen. Phil Campbell leads 16 to 15. You folks that uh, uh, missed that uh, instant replay just a second ago with that uh, replay, the big three by Madison Hester. There you get another look at it. 32 out of the game is Trinity Vandiver. They get it into Thomas and she is fouled by Mackenzie Hester. Olivia Taylor into the ball game. You got Thomas, you got Allen. Uh, you also got McKenzie Scott and Madison Branch into the game. The Tigers have got uh, Bella West into the ball game. Audrey Ayler, you got uh, Madison Hester. Emma McAllister, and I believe that's Lila Blackburn. Free throw is good. 18 to 15 is the score. Phil Campbell leading the Red Bay Tigers by three with 3.06 to go. The other night we, uh, we were tied two to two. The next thing you know is like 20 something to two Phil Campbell. So the Tigers playing much better here tonight. Phil Campbell missing one of the starters and actually didn't start Thomas either. Tigers on the inbound to Lionel Blackburn. Blackburn kicks it back to Emma. Emma shoots the long three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound scramble for it. Good try there by Bella West. Outlet pass to Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell down to Allen. Allen to Thomas, and she walks with the basketball. Red Bay is going to get it back. Down by three, 18 to 15. Lila Blackman drives to that right side, looks for help, goes back to Emma, but it was stolen away, and I think uh, it's going to be a foul call here. It's going to go in our favor. We're down to 226 to go. Today's game brought to you by Runny Cook, your modern woman agent, your hometown Piggly Wiggly. Sunshine Mills on a broadcast. Shot is up, it's no good. Don't forget about the brand new hours at Swamp John's, five in the morning till seven in the night. And that's Monday through Thursday. Friday and Saturday, five to eight, order full menu. Great food all the time. A lot of new things coming to Swamp John. Taking the ball down low, the Tigers turn it over, and we got a whistle and a foul against Red Bay. They're going to get Bella West with that foul. Thank you for listening to the game tonight on WRMG Radio and also WRMGRadio.com. Today's game brought to you by CBNS Bank, Mary Ellen Allen of the crew, H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton by Franklin Electric, big star of Red Bay. That's Bella West for Red Bay's first foul. Bella will check out, Audrey Ayler will check out, Kirkendall and Destiny McAllister will check in. First free throw was good, the next one is good too. This is number 12, McKenzie Scott making both free throws. Phil Campbell now leads 20 to 15. And we got a whistle and a foul against Faith Cook about the free throw line. We're at the one minute and 41 second mark. Red Bay with a basketball. And now the Tigers 
lose it. Here comes Callie Allen. Allen to the right side. Thomas shoots the long three. It's up no good. Taylor had it blocked inside out of bounds, and it will belong to uh, the ball club from Phil Campbell. Twenty to fifteen with a minute twenty-four to go. Lindley into the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers. Driving inside is Phil Campbell, kicking it back to Faith. Faith back. Now Faith gets it back. She'll shoot a three top of the key. It's going to be short. Rebound goes to Cassidy Kirkendall, and the Tigers will bring it down. 104 to go. Phil Campbell 20, Red Bay 15. McKenzie, about a 15-footer. It's up. It's no good. Maybe 8, 17-foot. It was just short of the three-point line. And we've got another whistle on a foul. We apologize with our internet being uh, terrible over here tonight. <laughs> 21 to 15 is Callie Allen. Makes the free throw. Fifty-four point six seconds to go. Free throw up and no good. Phil Campbell got her, got it, but the Red Bay Tigers take it away. Good job, Alala Blackburn. Lindley, top of the key, shoots the long three. It's up. It's no good. Phil Campbell pushes it up. Faith Cook on the layup. It's up and good. Nicely done there by the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. Red Bay across the timeline with 18 seconds. Lindley with the basketball. Lindley high post to McAllister to Cassidy. Cassidy drives, puts it up, it's blocked out of bounds. Red Bay will have it with 10.1 second to go. Red Bay takes it in. Six seconds to go. McKenzie drives down to the baseline, turns and shoots, and it's 23 to 15. So Phil Campbell leads 23 to 15. Red Bay led nine to six at the end of the first quarter. And Phil Campbell leads at halftime 23 to 15, 23 to 15. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Honored to have you on a broadcast show tonight. Thanks to Misty Holcomb. She's dependable. She's dedicated. She wants to be your next uh, county commissioner for district number four. The primary, of course, March the 3rd. Don't forget she's running on the Republican ticket and she wants to serve Franklin County. Misty Holcomb is her name. You remember that on March 3rd. Here's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders across the way. Appreciate you, Chuck, at Cash and Thumble Plastics on our broadcast. What about Dickie Sparks CPA, Red Bay Rentals, and also the Belmont Restaurant Cafe in Belmont. Here's the Tiger cheerleaders. Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders, a big uh, shout out today to also Explore Liquidations. Don't forget about their big auction coming up on January the 25th. That'll be Saturday night. That's across from Center Funeral Home. The auction starts at 5. You can view the items being auctioned off, by the way, beginning at 3.30. Furniture, tools, matches, luggage, household items, and much, much more. Also, the city of Red Bay and Red Bay Nutrition. Here's the Phil Campbell cheerleaders.
Good job of both teams cheerleaders. Thank the city of Red Bay, the mayor council. I told you about Red Bay Nutrition. They're located in Shopaholics. The shakes are between 190 and 250 calories, only 24 to 27 grams of fat. These are meal replacement shakes loaded with vitamins, energy, only 24 calories with no sugar or artificial sweeteners. Also on a broadcast here tonight is Bay Tree Gift Company, beautiful gifts for the bride, the new arrivals. Once again, they do a wonderful job, jewelry for any occasion, earrings. They just got back from market, and I can imagine the UPS truck and the freight trucks pulling in next door to WRMG, unloading all this brand new merchandise that they've bought at market. You better get ready because when they buy it, it starts rolling in quicker than you think. So they're going to have tons and tons of new arrivals coming in at Bay Tree Gift Company. If you see Laura Beth, say, what have you got coming in? I'm sure she'll be sharing it on Facebook, 256-349-1033, Bay Tree Gift Company. Also, a big shout-out to Swamp John's on a broadcast. Don't forget about brand-new hours now, Monday through Thursday. They're open 5 in the morning till 7 at night. And on Friday and Saturday, 5 to 8, you can order anything off the menu, full menu. And, of course, the great folks out at Swamp John's talk to Swamp John himself today, and he's excited about it. He says, Jack Ivey, uh, we want to uh, do a better job serving, and uh, we're going to do that right here at Swamp John's. So uh, whatever you got on your mind you need, uh, they're going to fix it for you, and they're going to fix it right. Uh, early breakfast on the buffet. you got your lunch buffet, but you can order anything off the menu. Swamp John's, the original Swamp John's in Red Bay. Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore on our broadcast, the Bay Auto Service and Detailing. Making this game possible, that's a Benny and Holly Kirkendall. And 256-376-2020. Need an oil lube or a filter taken care of, they do that. All the major brands of oil, they do detailing, insiding out. Here's what uh, you'll like. Pickup and delivery is available from the Bay. Don't forget Red Bay uh, Yacht Club, located at Red Bay Acres RV Resort. That's on Water Plant Road, serving seven days a week. Open as early as 7 o'clock in the morning. 256-333-4438, daily menu, and specials available. See the entire menu on Facebook at redbayacres.com. Also, Veronica Stancil reminds you to keep 30 years experience working for Franklin County. Re-elect Veronica Stancil for Revenue Commissioner on March the 3rd. Working hard for you every day is what we do at the uh, Revenue Commissioner's Office. Good luck to the Tigers and the Bobcats tonight from Veronica Stancil. Thank you, Dr. Larry Stutz, your state senator. Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry on our broadcast here tonight. Dr. Fabianchi out at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. Alpha Insurance. What about David Hester, your county commissioner for district number four on our broadcast here today? Also, B.J. L. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Assessities. Call for an appointment at 662-676-4445. Forty-five. That is B.J. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Necessities. Appreciate Johnny Martha Cleveland out there, Mac uh, Sparks, uh, Allison Russell, Hayden Deaton, Mr. Paul Huffman out there with us tonight. And we apologize, the Internet is absolutely horrible inside the gym, so our streaming is not as good as we'd like it to be. But uh, remember, if it messes up, you can always go to wrmgradio.com and listen to it there, wrmgradio.com. Just click on the Red Bay link. If you're back in Red Bay, you can go to wrmgradio.com and click on that Red Bay link. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We're at halftime. It is 23 to 15. 23 to 15, Phil Camel leading over the Red Bay Tigers. 23 to 15 is your score. We'll take just a short little break. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company.
Today's game brought to you by BGL Rod Walters. Don't forget, she's got 29 years experience. And she knows how to make you look good. And, of course, she does men, women, boys, girls, full-service hair care from color to perms to cuts to styles to waxing. Call for the appointment at 662-676-4445. Also, 4-3 Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Column. What a great place to eat. Nice and clean, great food, great taste, and great folks to do business with. Tigers get a steal. Coming over the top, Phil Campbell folks wanted a foul there. The referee said no. Red Bay with the ball. They try to lob it into McAllister. McAllister puts it up off the glass, and it's up and good. Good job there by the Red Bay Tigers. We'll look at that again on our Alpha Insurance replay. There you see her putting it up off that glass. We might let you look at it again a little bit. Tigers have got another steal. It's 23 to 17. Tigers go to McAllister again. McAllister puts it up. It's up no good. The ball stays alive. Picked up there by Olivia Taylor. Down to Faith, and the ball almost stolen away by the Tigers, but Callie Allen able to run it down for Phil Campbell. 23-17, Phil Campbell. You're looking at your county champions. There's Thomas. Thomas left side to 22, Harris. Harris tries to go to Allen. Allen runs it down before it goes out of bounds. Back to Taylor, and we got a whistle and a foul on the floor. I promised you I'd show you that... Uh, Play again on the other end. I'm after, I ain't really got time here. 23 17, Phil Camel with a basketball. Thomas, three pointer in the corner. It's up, no good. Phil Camel got that rebound. Driving the ball in, backside. She's wide open, shot is up, no good. All white church doing the rebound, and we got a reach in and another foul. Katie Thomas at the line shooting free throws at the 609 mark. That last foul was against Destiny McAllister. That is only her first foul. And the free throw is up. This one's good. She made one out of two. 24, Phil Campbell, 17. Here comes uh, Faulkner. Faulkner back to the top now. Emma McAllister shoots the three. It's up no good. And here comes Phil Campbell leading 24-17, driving the baseline and the ball out of bounds. Phil Campbell is still going to have it. Phil Campbell inbound underneath thrown basket. Callie Allen got it to Katie Thomas. Thomas didn't field it good, so she went ahead and took it on out into the corner. Tabs into the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers for Destiny McAllister. Driving in Thomas, backing off. Taylor is wide open. It's her shot off the back and no good. Red Bay comes up with a rebound. Good break for the Tigers. Because Taylor was wide open from short range and couldn't get it to fall. Here's Emma McAllister driving in. Emma's shot way off. The top of the backboard there, and uh, we had another chance with Cassidy, but Cassidy couldn't get it to go either, and here comes Phil Campbell. Guess what? We got a steal, thanks to Macy Faulkner. That ball went off the leg of Thomas with the 5-0-1 mark, third quarter. Red Bay trailing 24-17. Lila Blackburn kicking it back out to Faulkner. Faulkner sees a little open as she split it, took it down through there, no good. We got a whistle line. A foul on the rebound. I believe this is going to go against Phil Campbell. I don't know where I got that shot. I was wanting to show you all ago. I was just, uh, I guess, wanting to show you 
That put back there by Destiny McCollister. There you see it. She's got it up off the glass and got it to go. 24-17 her score. Lila Blackburn on the inbounds. Shot is up by the Tigers. No good. Cassidy Kirkenall running it down. Back to Blackburn. Blackburn the long shot. No good. Picking up that rebound was number 12, Mackenzie Scott for Phil Campbell. Here's Allen. Allen pass into Branch. Branch couldn't handle it, so she brings it back out. 24 to 17. Faith Cook to the right side to Branch. And at least she walks. That is the call. Appreciate Denisa back at Control Center here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I believe we're streaming okay right now. I'm afraid to even look to see what you're telling me because my little thing says it's okay right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Faulkner with the basketball. Faulkner looks and finally has somebody come help her out. Thank you, Lila Blackman. Lila pulls up, a little jump shot. It's going to be short. Rebound, Katie Thomas has got it, but she double dribbles. Hats off to Coach Craig Thomas and all the great staff here at Phil Campbell. They're always very nice to us, and we really appreciate them very, very, very much. Phil Campbell in Red Bay, Alabama. And the little hook shot there, it's up in no good. Long throw down the court to number 12, Mackenzie Scott. And Faith Cook on the little backside put back there is good. There you see her putting it up off the glass. That's our Alpha Insurance replay, Mr. John Cook replay. There's Alexis Tabs with the ball. Tabs back out to Emma. Macy Faulkner. We got to somehow or another figure out to get her some open threes. She knocks those threes down, but. Faith Cook doing a good job staying with her. We got a Tigers turn that ball over again. And, and Phil Campbell got a timeout. 26 to 17 is our score. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Appreciate all of our great sponsors here making this game possible tonight, including consider the Lilies. Don't forget, uh, they got a large selection of flowers ready to go for any occasion. They can custom make anything for you. You got those Swan Creek candle collection. Also, they got uh, all types of different scents and uh, that you'll like. Pure honey from that TNA beef farm available at Consider Lilies. Don't forget to uh, get your orders in now for your roses for that special person for Valentine's. And they really do appreciate your business. If you want one of those apples gone wild, delicious apples, you need to order it. They're only going to get in so many. And I've already got two booked and thinking about booking another one. They're that good. Ever who you get it for is going to love it. Can you imagine caramel? Dip, uh, an apple dipped in caramel, then dipped in dark chocolate or milk chocolate, rolled in walnuts and pecans or nuts. And they got several different kinds. Kelly driving a baseline is going to be foul. They got the apple strudel and I don't know, just all different flavors. They got a list of them. You can order it and we'll get yours in just for you. 35680313. There's old Charlie Nelson bunch of the game tonight. Says good luck to the Tigers and the Bobcats. Charlie Nelson is a candidate for revenue commissioner in March. Make sure you go to the polls and elect a new face. For Revenue Commissioner, his name is Charlie Nelson. That great taste in Carl Lewis sausage on our broadcast here today. Free throw is good by Allen to make it 27 to 17. And another steal there and putting it up off the glass is number 14, Madison Branch. So. Phil Campbell stretches the lead to 29 to 17. Hope you enjoy the broadcast here to live on WRMG. Long pass down the court and the ball almost stolen. Into Blackburn and the shot is up good. 
Good job of Destiny to get it into her. Destiny and McAllister back into the ball game. One of the Hester gals getting ready to check in as Phil Campbell throws that ball away. Emma McAllister will check out Madison Hester in. You got Madison, you got uh, Lila Blackburn. Driving there, Faulkner dishes it off to Destiny McAllister. No good. Big spiel for it here. We're going to have a jump ball. Arrow pointing in favor of the Red Bay Tigers. Phil Camel up by 10, third quarter, a minute 51 to go. The score is 29 to 19. Faulkner gets an open three. It's up and good. That's what I wanted him to do, get her open. And 29 to 22 now, Macy Farr. You get her, she gets on a hot streak. She, she's capable of hitting two, three, four in a row. That's her second one of the night. Thomas loses control of it. Folks, we're only down seven, 29 to 22. Still a lot of time, a minute 24 to go, third quarter. Blackburn, Hester, Hester's three up and no good. Faith Cook with a rebound. On down the floor of the layup. By Branch is up and good. Madison Branch makes it 31 to 22. Here's Faulkner. Faulkner dishes it off. Now the kick back to Blackburn. Blackburn shoots a three. It's up. It's no good. Going to get out of bounds. I don't know where I can still show you that. Uh... There she is. So you see her wide open there. And the three pointer on the Alpha Insurance replay. And a little slow mo there for you. Red Bay will have it. Madison back to Macy. Macy shoots the three in the corner. It's up no good. Thomas got it. Out to Allen. 46 seconds to go. Allen has her shot blocked. And she is going to be charged with a foul. Saw the tail end of that play there is Allen falling to the floor after that block. 31-22, that is the second foul against the Red Bay Tigers' Destiny McAllister. Allen's free throw is up and no good. Phil Campbell, 31, Red Bay, 22. And this free throw up good. 42 seconds to go. And another steal. And a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. They're going to get Madison Hester with that one. Kirsten Scott getting ready to check back into the ball game for the Red Bay. Phil Campbell with it. Allen driving the baseline. Backside, the shot up no good by Taylor. And Taylor's going to go to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay here in Phil Campbell. Denise is back at Control Center. Appreciate you joining us here tonight on WRMG. Free throw by Taylor is up and good. She'll have another one coming here. And that free throw good. Thirty-four to twenty-two. We had cut it to seven. Now it's back to twelve. Twenty seconds to go. Red Bay finally gets it across the timeline to Kirsten Faulkner. The long NBA three. It's no good. McAllister with the rebound. No good. She's foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot. We're live on WRMG with 11 seconds to go. (laughs) 
Free throw is up and good by Destiny. And this one is up. And no good is 34-23. We got a foul on that rebound. Nine point six seconds to go. Jack Ivy Randall ends it here. We got Red Bay and Phil Campbell basketball. The internet's been working pretty good for a while, so I'm not going to mess with it. I probably shouldn't even be talking about it. But uh, thank you, folks that are watching. Thank you, John Matson, Bridget Berry out there with us tonight. John, our internet's terrible in here, and I'm I'm surprised it's as good as it is right now. It went through a little spell in the first half. It wasn't that good. Then it got good at halftime and it's stayed pretty good with us. Phil Campbell will take it in with 4.9 seconds to go. They shoot it on the right elbow. The shot is up and good by Olivia Taylor. And that'll make it 36 to 23. 36 to 23, Phil Camel. Cheerleaders about ready to perform down below for us. For all you folks that are watching over in Phil Camel, Alabama, thank you, Chris Blackburn, for checking in with us. By the way, the Red Bay JV boys won tonight. 37 to 21. 37 to 21. About ready to start the fourth and final quarter. Red Bay trailing 36 to 23, 36 to 23. Thank you, Mr. Chris. There's Kathy Kirk and all Norman checking in with us. I hadn't been asking you to share it because I didn't want it to share something that wasn't good earlier. Remember, if you want to lose this signal, you can always go to WRMGRadio.com and listen to it. But right now, we're glad you're being able to watch it on Facebook Live. Driving it down to the baseline and cut off there is Faith Cook is going to be charged with a foul. Thank you, Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Stadium pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, by Right Place. Chris and Leslie Wright's brand new venue for parties, reunions, and events. You can call them at 256-412-8376. Into McAllister. Her shot is up no good. Rebound goes to Phil Campbell. Taylor got it to Allen. Also Miller's Affordable Furniture in Russellville and also the world-famous Jason Miller, the People's Commissioner District 2. Kim Lindsay that does all your screen printing on our broadcast here tonight. Inside, shot no good. It's out of bounds. And Phil Campbell will still have it. Appreciate the Cardinal drive-in. Community Spirit Bank on a broadcast show tonight. Fastway Car Wash with Miss Ann Vinson on a broadcast. Big shout out tonight to your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. 3-3-2, 79-24. Baseline shot, no good. Allen got a big rebound and kicked that ball back out. Allen with the ball out near midcourt, close to the circle with 7-11 to go. Phil Camel in a comfortable lead right now. They lead 36-23. Taylor shot up no good. And <laughs> we stood there and let them come from the free throw line in and got the rebound. And I promise you, we had three or four people in position to get the rebound, but we just stood there. And Phil Camel came out of nowhere to get that rebound and Got to be observant where that ball is and be watching it coming off the board and go to it, girls. Thirty-six to twenty-three. Madison Hester, Kirsten, Kirsten Scott, and they're going to get her with a double dribble.
Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Live from Phil Camel, Alabama. Phil Campbell will back that ball out, reset it up. Taylor here over the left side into Cook. Cook walks with the basketball. Appreciate the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. What about to Mr. Eric Raper at Raper RV Shop LLC? Body work, paint repair, custom paint, electrical repair, electrical upgrades, and more. Told you about your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. What about Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, on our broadcast here tonight? And we got a whistle and a foul against Phil Campbell right in front of us. Folks, if you're looking for that brand new nurse practitioner in town, Med Express has got a brand new one. Her name is Wendy Orr. She loves Red Bay. She's looking forward to working with you when you're not feeling good. Come on down see her at Med Express of Red Bay. Allen driving in, shot up no good. Red Bay with a big rebound, that's Cassidy Kirkenall. Med Express of Red Bay is a certified rural health clinic licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Call Med Express of Red Bay right now, 256-356-8907. Make that appointment. Once again, a brand new nurse practitioner, Wendy Orr. I'll be interviewing Wendy on Wednesday. Long shot up and no good. Out of bounds, give it to Phil Campbell. Well, we're in the studios about lunch Wednesday. Five minutes and 35 seconds to go. Five twenty three to go. Allen works that ball right side. Now she'll get it back. Number 12 on that right side, McKenzie Scott. Now the Tigers have got a steal. But guess what? Ooh, we tried to roll it back to Bella West, and it went right by and out of bounds. No way Bella could have got that one. Madison Hester, McKenzie Hester, Lila Blackburn, Macy Faulkner, Cassidy Kirkendall, out there for the Tigers. 5.06 to go, Lila Blackburn. And Lila has it knocked out of bounds and I think they're gonna call a foul, reach in foul. Four minutes and 57 seconds to go. We got a foul against uh, number 12 and going to the line for the Red Bay Tigers. Going to be Madison Hester shooting a one and one. It's up, it's no good. Scott got it. We're heading the other way. Cook off back to Callie Allen at the 444 mark. It's a 13 point lead, 36-23. See the world famous Dr. Stephen Ray across the way and Coach Donnie Roberts over there. See the, oh, I believe I see some rays over there. The haircut man. I see Marlon Saint over there and his wife. The world famous uh, Mike Schubert. And we got a whistle and a foul against the Tigers. See the Hesters across the way. It's Madison and McKenzie's mom and dad. See some Blackburns over there. And some Vincents, and Scotts, Corms. All kinds of good folks over there. In attendance watching the game here tonight. Honor to have you here. 37 to 23 is the at last foul was against Lila Blackburn of the Tigers. And 
That is her second foul. Allen makes both free throws, so it's now 38 to 23. Now the Tigers have turned it over again. Taylor driving the baseline, shot up no good, got her own rebound, it's blocked from behind. Cook got it and kicked it right back out. Good job by Faith Cook. And we got a whistle and a foul against the Tigers. That foul against Mackenzie Hester. That's Mackenzie's third foul. It's 38 to 23. Allen triple team gets it over to Faith Cook. One thing you can say about these young lady Tigers, they're not. They had not stop hustling, I can assure you that. You know, we got Belmont and Phil Camel coming up. We got uh, Red Bay and Haleville coming up. Ooh, another foul, the fourth one on Hester, on McKenzie. Who else we got coming up this week? We got uh, Yeah, I've got to go to Sullivan Thursday. What about tomorrow night? Tish County and New Albany, Belmont, and Alcorn Central tomorrow night. Bella West coming into the ball game. Glad she doesn't. I'm glad she doesn't look like her daddy, aren't you? Free throw is up. It's good. Into the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers is Kylie James. Three minutes and 11 seconds to go. Taylor made one out of two just a minute ago to make it 39-23, the ball out of bounds. Live coverage here on WRMG, Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay. Pre appreciate Denise back at Control Center. Honor to have you on our broadcast here tonight. Appreciate uh, Britta Scott Oric out there with us. Three-pointer by the Tigers up and no good. That was from Miss Macy Faulkner. Phil Campbell, number 32, fakes, goes to the basket. It's up, it's no good. Faith Cook got a rebound, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Good job of Faith on the rebound to put that ball back up to draw the foul. We've got Red Bay boys and Phil Campbell boys coming up next here on WRMG. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here tonight. There's uh, Patrick Cochran joining us on Facebook Live. Does everything look okay? I, I know where internet's terrible. Does it look okay lighting-wise? It about the lighting okay? Darkness-wise, does it look okay? Thirty-nine to twenty-three. We're at the new gymnasium here that they built when they built the new school here in Phil Camel. Lila Blackburn, I don't know what happened to her for a minute. She acted like she, she probably needs to check out of the ball game. Red Bay's fixing to check in four anyway. She did something and she kind of just stopped and bent over. She's going toward the sideline right now. Coach Patner on the head over. She's fixing to check out. Well, we got uh, the Tigers bringing in uh, number 11, Anna Kate Kennedy into the ball game. Uh, Audrey Ayler, uh, 33, McKenzie Gasway, 21. Kaylee Lindley into the ball game and Bella West. And the free throw up in no good, out of bounds. Red Bay's going to have it with 2.04 to go.
We're at the two-minute mark of the game. Don't forget, boys game coming up after this one right here on WRNG. We'll get our rosters ready for that. Kennedy over to Kylie James, back into the ball game. Kylie stops, turns, puts it up to the lane, up and no good. Good try there, Kylie James. Michaela Baker into the ball game. And the Tigers, Kylie James has got a steal. She loses control of it. She's going to almost get it. Now we're going to end up having a jump. Phil Campbell's going to get it. But great hustle that time by Lindley and also James. Also uh, Gracie Vickery for the ball club for Phil Campbell. They also got number three, Jade Robertson, in the ball game. Still got Branch in there. They got 34, Vickery, I told you about her. Going to the line is going to be Lindley as they ended up charging a foul there. Good job, Lindley. Lindley's next shot is up. It is no good. Rebound coming out there with it. It's Gazaway. Gazaway down to Ayler, and Ayler, the shot is up good. Let's look at that on the Alpha Insurance replay, what do you say? There you go. Good job, Audrey. That replay brought to you by John Cook, your Alpha Insurance and Red Bay. Do you know that uh, Swamp John's has got brand new hours, 5 in the morning till 7 at night, Monday through Thursday. On Friday and Saturday, 5 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night, full menu. James is shot. No good. Out of bounds, Red Bay still going to have it. So we don't have to uh, worry about if we don't go to lunch till after 1 o'clock on the day of getting to go to Swamp John's. They open at 5 in the morning till 7 at night, Monday through Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, 5 in the morning till 8 at night. Chicken on a stick Wednesday. They got, of course, fish on Thursday. And here's the good thing. You can order off that menu. Shot is up by Kennedy. Up and no good. 40 seconds to go. Phil Campbell bringing it down. Number three on the left side is Robinson. Back out top of the key to Abby Garrison. Vickery shot up no good. Rebound goes to Audrey Ayler. Lindley bringing it down with 25 seconds to go. Phil Campbell 40. Red Bay 26, 40 to 26. Lindley pulls up, shot no good. James went back up with it. It's partially blocked, controlled by Phil Campbell, 13. Down low threes, wide open, it's up good. Jade Robertson got it. And the final score is going to be Phil Campbell, 42. Red Bay 26, 42-26, Phil Campbell knocking off the Red Bay Tigers here tonight in Phil Campbell, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I will tell you this, that the Red Bay JV tonight won 37 to 21, 37 to 21. There's uh, Miss Cherie gasson Sella checking in with us. Uh, also, uh, Miss Ollie Mayoffers Glover said it looks good. Thank you, Britta uh, Ork. Malisha Turberful out there tonight. Patrick Cochran. We got uh, Miss Donna Weatherford checking us out from Red Bay Pharmacy and Belmont Pharmacy. Here come the Red Bay Tigers out. Folks, I know it looks good right now, but the internet is not that good in here tonight. And if the internet kind of falls out on us, you may not have as good a picture. We apologize. Nothing we can do about it. But I will tell you this, that if we was to lose our signal, keep in mind it's on 97.9 FM, 97.9 FM. It's on AM 1430. It's on the internet at WRMGRadio.com, WRMGRadio.com. We're going to uh, cut the audio down so Facebook won't block us so you're not going to hear anything for a little bit. Stay tuned. We've got the boys' action coming up. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company, Red Bay versus Phil Campbell. So we're going to turn our audio down so you won't have that for just a little bit, you folks that are watching. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company.
announcing the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers. Now the starting lineups for the home team, Phil Camel. Starting lineups for the Phil Campbell Bobcats. They're going to start Jonah Fisher, Luke Garrison, Blaine Goodson. Also starting tonight to be uh, Brett Saint and also Ben Williams starting for the Red Bay Tigers tonight. We're going to have Braden Ray. We're going to have uh, Mr. Clay Allison. We're going to have uh, Lane Schubert starting tonight. Also uh, Tanner Hamilton starting and, uh, of course, number 10, Jalen Vincent. Tip control by the Red Bay Tigers, and we're underway. Red Bay and Phil Camel. Red Bay in their powder blues here tonight on the road. Phil Camel in the white. Allison back out to Braden Ray. Tigers trying to recover and regroup from that uh, big-time loss to Belgrade. My goodness, were they hot in the championship game? Tanner Hamilton sliding the baseline. His shot is up. It is no good. He'll go to the line to shoot. He was foul. We'll take a look at that, uh, sliding that baseline there. You see him drawing the foul on our Alpha Insurance replay. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Thank you, John Cook at Alpha Insurance. And Hamilton will shoot a free throw. It's up no good. Hamilton is a six foot three senior on the ball club. He'll have another one coming. Gets up, and it is no good as well. Braden Ray got it. He put it up. It's no good. Braden got the rebound again. He put it up good. Good strong move there on the rebound by Braden Ray. And the Red Bay Tigers leading the game by two to nothing. And Phil Campbell is going to dribble that ball out of bounds. Lost out of bounds by number 12, Mr. Brett Saint. Phil Campbell in the white, Red Bay in the powder blues, and Tanner Hamilton. He's got Jalen Vincent over the right. He goes that way. He'll get it back. Got uh, Clay Allison over the left side. High post. He's got, of course, Braden Ray and down low, Lane Schubert. Tiger's got to take advantage of that six foot five frame down there in Lane Schubert. Got to get some more scoring out of Lane, and the way you do it, you got to work that ball in there to him. Tigers. Going to have to get her going. We got postseason around the corner. Got some really big games. And Clay Allison with a shot up good by the Red Bay Tigers. Four to nothing, Red Bay. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you, Larry Blackburn, checking in. Got Mike Engel. And the Red Bay Tigers have got it back. We got a shook up. I didn't see what happened. I was looking away, looking down. And uh, Braden Ray, did you see what happened, Randall? It must have may have been a collision or something there, but uh, Braden will check out of the ball game to kind of get those cobwebs out. He'll go down and shake it out a little bit. He, man, I'd like to have that on a replay, but I didn't. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Braden will check out of the ball game. Arden Hamilton will check in. Arden, he's working down low as well. Clay Allison and the Red Bay Tigers. You got a 4-0 lead. High post, Arden Hamilton. Out to Vincent. Vincent shoots the long three. It's up. It's no good. And we're going to have a foul against uh, Lane Schubert. Thank you, Regina Sparks checking in with us. We got Carol Reynolds, uh, Melissa Ray with us. We got Jordan McKinney. 
do me a favor while we got this internet going good. Why don't you share this? Uh, earlier, it wasn't the first game uh, for a little while. It wasn't that good, but it's been pretty good most all night. Tigers get a steal. Down to Vincent. Vincent's layup is no good. And the rebound to Phil Campbell. And the Tigers get a foul trying to get it back. And that's going to be charged against Jalen Vincent. Joe Jalen Vincent picks up the second foul for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay up 4 0. 5.50 to go, first quarter. Live coverage here on WRMG. Thank you, Miss Kaylee Pruitt, with us out there tonight. A block by Schubert. Hamilton, long throw down the court, stolen away. And it's going to get out of bounds, and Red Bay's still going to have it. Clay Allison's going to do the inbounds this time. Jalen Vinson takes the throw in, out to Tanner. Tanner, top of the key. Clay Allison down, and we try to lob it inside. Arden did, and the ball stolen away. Four to nothing. And now Phil Campbell almost lost that ball out. Luke Garrison did. Luckily, they were able to hold on to it. They'll set it up. Jonah Fisher works that ball right side, number 10. Is Trenton McCullough into the ball game. And Trenton has that ball stolen away. Here's Jalen Vincent. Jason blows by everybody. He's got the layup. We'll take a look at that on our Alpha Insurance replay. We'll slow that one down. You see, Jen, look, see him just blow by everybody there and lays that ball up good, and he is foul, and will go to the line to shoot. Great play by the Red Bay Tigers. And that'll make it 6 0. There is going to be a foul, and we got a timeout as well. The foul against number 14, uh, Blaine Goodson, is going to be charged with a foul. So we'll take that uh, full timeout with the Bobcats. Honored to have you on our broadcast this evening. Remember, if you've not shared it, if you'll do so right now. We got the world famous uh, Scott and Myra Webster out there. We got, of course, Miss Abby and Mason watching. We got uh, Amy McKinney and her great uh, Kim McKinney crew and Jordan and all of that crew watching, and we really appreciate them. Do me a favor, uh, share this link right now. Braden Ray getting ready to check back into the ball game. Thank you, Med Express. He got a brand new nurse practitioner, Miss Wendy Orr. Triple D's bucket service. We got Tiffin Motorhomes, we got Wright Body and RV Repair, Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling on our broadcast here tonight. Red Bay JV won tonight, 37 to 21. Our girls lose 42 26 to Phil Campbell. Today's game also brought to you by, if I can turn a page right here, by Red Bay Pharmacy. That's a Bill and Donna Weatherford. You got uh, a great, great staff. No more driving to Tupelo or Florence. Waiting on all those weightlifting and powerlifting cross-training products. They got them available right here locally in Red Bay or Belmont at Red Bay Pharmacy or Belmont Pharmacy. 356-4044. Got the convenient drive through Got the double drive through So uh, drive up, turn your prescription in, or to ask what, and you pull up to the next one. So they get you through in a hurry. They do a wonderful job at Red Bay Pharmacy. They want to say how much I appreciate all the Fred's uh, Pharmacy customers now being a customer at Red Bay Pharmacy. Come see us. Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company on a broadcast. Phil Campbell after the timeout shot no good. Gage Bays into the ball game. Taking it down low to Arden, kicking it back. Braden Ray, Ray's three and no good. Jalen Vinson, no good. He got a rebound, put it back up good. Good job by the Red Bay Tigers. Eight to nothing, Red Bay over Phil Campbell, and Braden Ray's got a steal. Braden going to take it, and, and they're going to get him with a technical foul, or what? They waved it off. I guess they waved it off. They didn't give him a technical, but they got him for hanging on to the rim. I don't. I would assume. Here's Braden on it. Uh, we'll show you. See, he hung on to it. Uh, too long there. Let's slow that down to you just a little bit. We got to have to hurry. There you see Braden with the steal. 4.13 to go. And I think they uh, I got it a little bit too slow, don't I? And it is eight to nothing. Hey, Pike.
And the shot is up. It is no good. Eight to nothing, Tigers. Wait, just wait, just a Phil Campbell's going to have it underneath, throwing basket. Tigers going to bring in a substitute. Kaiser Jackson's going to check in. Still 8 0 Red Bay, 3.53 to go. We're in the first quarter, live in Phil Campbell, and we got a whistle and a foul. That is against Braden Ray. That's the fourth team foul against Red Bay. Phil Campbell trying to get on the board. Number five, Ben Williams. Williams over to number three into the ball game. That's uh, Roger Jean. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebound. Gage Bays come out of the with it. Now the ball stripped away, picked up by Phil Campbell, and they lay it in. Number three got it, Roger Jean. I think Jean played on that JV team. They brought him down for the, to the JV in that tournament down there. I remember he playing very well down there. They won that JV tournament uh, by three over Red Bay. Th Eight to two the score. Allison, the long shot is up. It is no good. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul against Red Bay, tipping that ball out there. We'll show you once again that Alpha Insurance replay. This is uh, on the breakaway down there. Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting Company. It's eight to two. Phil Campbell driving it in. And the shot blocked by Arden Hamilton. Now it's loose on the floor. Who's going to end up with it? Kaiser Jackson in the middle, and we're going to have a, it looks like a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. I believe they got Kaiser Jackson. Tiger fouls are piling up. That's now 17 fouls against Red Bay. It's going to be one and one for number 24, Easton Cummings. They're going to have one and one with 2.50 to go in the first quarter. Thank you, Woody and Jane Edwards, checking in with us. Also, big shout out to Maddie Berry tonight, Miss Lynette James, and Kristen Massey out there with us tonight. You folks, uh, do me a favor, go ahead and share it. Checking into the ball game, uh, Lane Schubert in, Tanner Hamilton back in, as Arden and Clay Allison will take a break. That'll make it eight to three as number 24 Cummings made the first one, but missed the second one. Red Bay's got it. Gage Bay's driving in, and traffic puts it up, and they're gonna get a foul against the Tigers. We'll take a look at it, and they're gonna charge him with an offensive foul. There you see Gage Bays driving in, and he is going to be charged with a foul. That will be the eighth team foul. That will be the second foul against Gage Bays. Two minutes and 36 seconds to go. Phil Campbell driving back down, blocked by Lane Schubert and out of bounds. Honored to have you on the broadcast tonight. Thank you, Linda Butler, checking in with us. We're the home of the Alpha Insurance replay of Red Bay, John Cook. Exclusive instant replay of tonight's game. It's a lot of extra work, I can tell you that, to make it happen. Rebound goes to Phil Campbell. They back down low. The shot is up. It's a little bit too hard. No good. Braden Ray with a rebound. Red Bay in their powder blues tonight. Phil Campbell in white and Braden Ray takes it coast to coast, puts it up no good. He's fouled, but he'll go to the line to shoot. Coach uh, John Tariski and the Red Bay Tigers. And Braden shot is up and good. Appreciate Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry on our broadcast here tonight. Big shout out to Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Brenda right here in Red Bay, 356-4804. Braden's free throw good. Red Bay up 
by a score of 10 to three with 2.07 to go. And Phil Camel turns that ball over. Red Bay's gonna get it back. Thank you, Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic on our broadcast. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing, he does it all. 3310208, Dr. Rick Wooten, and also Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr. Drive it in. Beautiful play by Jalen Vinson for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay leads 12 to 3. Phil Campbell looking to take it down low. Schubert coming out of nowhere. Gets a steal but tries to save it in bounds. It's going to go out. Good huff there by Lane Schubert and the Red Bay Tigers. There's Miss Regina Boyd checking in with us. One minute and 34 seconds to go. Brett Saint over to the left side to Garrison. Back out to Jonah Fisher. The number three now, that's uh, Roger Jean. Roger down, he kicks it back out to the free throw line. Number 21 shot up, it's no good. And that's Hunter Saint. Red Bay Dawson Wright will shoot a three in the corner. It's up and good. Good job of Dawson knocking that one down in the corner. And that'll make it 15 to three, Red Bay on top. Dawson Wright, 49 seconds to go. Red Bay on top. Saint with the ball, down to the corner, driving that baseline, now kicking it back to Saint. Saint goes up. Ooh, off the rim, no good. The backside rebound, no good, but 21, a Hunter Saint. Now the ball blocked, saved back in. Great job by the Tigers. Braden Ray to, to Tanner. Over to Jalen Vincent. He's wide open on the right wing. His three is up, no good. Braden Ray, Braden puts it up, it's no good, he's foul. I'm gonna see if I can show you that Dawson right three. Dawson says, what about my three-pointer in the corner, Jack Ivey? There he is knocking it down over there. Dawson Wright. Huh? 15 to three and Ray will go to the line. Free throw good. Red Bay 16 to three. Braden has got five points unofficially in the game. And the next free throw good. He's four out of four off the line with six points. 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Red Bay 17 to three. And the Phil Campbell Bobcats driving it in, putting it up. Number three, it's up and good. And that's Roger Jean getting his fifth point of the ball game. And we'll start the second quarter. It is now 17 to five, 17 to five. Live coverage here on WRMG TV 12. And the Dawson Wright Alpha Insurance replay. There's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders across the way. There's Coach Jim Levent checking in with us. Do me a favor, you folks that are watching. There's Tori Louie checking in with us. Tori, do me a favor. Share this link with your friends out there. Coach Larry Johnson checking in over in Mississippi tonight. We will have a crew at uh, New Albany. I may be in New Albany. Tish County, New Albany tomorrow night. Belmont and Alcorn Central. We'll have them at those two locations tomorrow night. Later in the week, some other big games as well. We're live in Phil Campbell, Alabama tonight, Coach Johnson. Thank you, Miss Ali May, Humphreys Glover, Philip Rogers out there watching us tonight. Today's game brought to you by the Red Bay Hospital. Uh, Miss Sherry Jolly, Red Mud Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, the Banner Tire Store on our broadcast today, along with Red Mud Pharmacy. Phil Campbell will get the ball, and we're going to have a foul against Phil Campbell. I don't know where I can back it up. We'll see if we can figure out whether th they charge him with an illegal screen. Let's, let's take a look at that. 
Phil Campbell now with the basketball. Yep, there you see it right there, that screen, illegal screen right there, and that's what they got him by. Um, if I have time, I'll show it to you again a little bit. 17 to five. Jaden Anderson in the ball game for the Tigers. Alex Kennedy out there, Arden Hamilton. We got Kaiser Jackson and uh, Clay Allison in the game. Now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna slow it down to you. We're gonna show you that illegal screen that, that was called just a minute ago. Now it's backed up. You see they take the ball in. This is Phil Campbell with the basketball on our Alpha Insurance replay. You see him coming off there? Now watch, watch this one. See he stuck that knee out and uh, that's where they got him with the illegal screen. Red Bay leads 17 to five with 7.43 to go. Clay Allison back out to Kaiser Jackson. Anderson on the right side over there. Looks, penetrates a little bit, stops. Comes back out to Kaiser Jackson. Arden Hamilton top of the key, turn around on the right elbow. It's up and good. Arden Hamilton with that nice basket there. All brought to you by folks like uh, Redmond Pharmacy with J.C. Weeks and Misty Hawkham who wants to be your next county commissioner for district number four. Driving in, shot Phil Campbell, it's up and good. Getting that one was number one. And that's Luke Garrison getting that basket. 19 Red Bay, seven uh, for Phil Campbell. Good job by Jaden to Allison. Allison drives in, shot no good. Rebound scramble for it, gonna get out of bounds. Red Bay still gonna have it. 19 to seven, Red Bay leading, 6.48 to go second quarter. Red Bay girls lose tonight, 42 to 26. Red Bay B team wins tonight. And got that score here in front of me. I'll, I'll find it in a little bit for you. There it is right there. Red Bay won 37 to 21 in the B team. Clay Allison open for the three. It's up, no good. Rebound goes to number one, pushing it up the court. Garrison, shot, no good. Rebound. The put back up and no good. And we're going to have a whistle on a foul coming over the top. It's going to be charged to Luke Garrison. Come over the top of Arden Hamilton, who got that nice rebound. Appreciate Cotter Sides checking in with us. Go Tigers there from Kristen Massey. See, we got Miss Jessica Vinson watching tonight. Honored to have you on a broadcast here on WRMG. Hopefully it looks good and sounds good for you back wherever you're watching tonight. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay. We're live in Phil Campbell. Denise Ivy back at Control Center. Shot no good. Arden Hamilton with a rebound. Arden puts it back up no good. Phil Campbell with a rebound. Brett Saint works that ball to his teammate who drives it in, puts it up no good. And a foul against the Tigers. I believe that was number zero, Jonah Fisher. He is going to be fouled. There's the world famous Miss Bunny Gober checking in with us. First free throw is no good by Fisher. He'll have another one coming. Red Bay leads 19 to seven. This one up good. 19 Red Bay, eight for Phil Campbell. 5.51 to go. Arden Hamilton, Tanner over to Jaden. Jaden's shot is up and good. Knocking it down from three point range. There you see the man. Jaden Anderson knocking it down for the Tigers. Good form there, Jaden. 22 to eight. Driving in, shot up by the Bobcats, no good. Bobcats got a rebound, now the block by Kennedy. And Tanner Hamilton will bring it down. Jaden Anderson sent me a little cue up here. We got a tie here, he said, Jack Ivey, show that replay of me one more time, but slow it down just a little bit. This is for you, Jaden. 
Jaden's got it. Look at that perfect form. Beautiful shot. Three-pointer. Bam. Jaden Anderson with a three. He'll check out of the ball game with Kennedy. Kaiser Jackson, Arden Hamilton. And the Tigers who lead 22 to 8. Tanner Hamilton, a little running shot, no good. Rebound, got to get out of bounds. It's going to Red Bay. Who's Red Bay got in the game? Jalen Vincent's in. Lane Schubert. Uh, we got uh, Tanner Hamilton. Kaiser Jackson into the ball game. Brand, Brayton Ray. Dawson tried a shot, it's blocked. Long throw down the court, Garrison. Garrison drives in, puts it up, no good. Backside rebound, up, and he kicks it out. Too high, and it's going to get out of bounds. So Red Bay leading it 22 to eight with four minutes and 50 seconds to go. Kai Dawson Wright, he said, Jack Ivey, what about my instant replay? Dawson Wright. And we got a timeout. We'll see if we can show you Dawson's long range three, my goodness. Gonna give you another look at it and slow it down again. And the Dawson Wright instant replay brought to you by Alpha Insurance in Red Bay. After the timeout, 25 to eight the score, Red Bay Tigers leading. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. And the basket. Our replay, my fault, kind of messed up there for a second. 4.12 to go. 25 to 10, Phil Campbell back with the basketball, plus somebody tried to, was dialing me. Remember, I can't talk on the phone while we're doing the ball game, so we apologize. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here tonight. <laughs> 25, Red Bay, 10, Phil Campbell, 3.52 to go on a walk against Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell with a substitution checking into the ball game number 10. Trenton McCullough is into the ball game number five. We'll check out Ben Williams. Red Bay will bring it down with Tanner Hamilton, Braden Ray, Dawson Wright out there. Dawson will shoot another three. It's up, it's over the backboard this time and it'll go to uh, the Bobcats. Dawson had a good open look. Hit one just a minute ago. Thank you, Destiny Bullard, checking in with us. We'll say hello to Miss Klein East Ledbetter out there tonight. And another basket there by the Bobcats. That'll make it 25 to 12. Jalen Vincent shoots a three from the right side. It's up, it's no good. Luke. Elaine Schubert got it and put it back in good. Good job, Elaine. Got to make it Red Bay 27 to 12 for Phil Campbell. Red Bay once again, varsity boys. Second quarter, 2.53 to go in the second quarter. Leads 27 to 12. They'll shoot a long three. It's up good. Number three got that one. Roger Jean. 27 to 15, Phil Campbell trying to cut this lead down before halftime. Allison get ready to check in and the Tigers turn it over. Phil Campbell for the layup and they got it. I don't know how, Red Bay had two guys trying to block it and he got it to go in. That was number 10 uh, for Phil Campbell. 
Braden Ray with the basketball. Good job there by Trenton McCullough knocking down that three. It's 27 to 17, and Phil Campbell has got it back again. Here's number one, Luke Garrison. Luke drives all the way in, puts it up off the glass, good. And coach said he's seen all he wants of that. 27 to 19. Now that's the starters out there. Now Red Bay gets a timeout. I thought he was fixing to send a bunch of subs in, and he may still do, but Red Bay has not played good in the last minute, I can assure you that. Once again, uh, go Tigers out there tonight from uh, Miss uh, Tanya Carter-Raper and also Miss Lynette James saying go Tigers. Big shout out to Miss Kleine Sledbetter tonight. She's down at Southern Magnolia down in Golden. Thank you, Ronnie Cook, your modern women agent, your hometown Piggly Wiggly. Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, Sunshine Mills by the Belmont Restaurant and Cafe in Belmont. Wallace and Glenda Williams, hometown food cooked by hometown folks. CBNS Bank, H&R Block on the broadcast. Frank Little Electric, Big Star. And also Misty Hawkham, who's running for County Commissioner District 4. Back to action. Red Bay shoots the three. Braden Ray, no good. Gage Bays into the ball game. Clay Allison back in. Hunter Burks, long shot by the Tigers from Gage Bays. Lane Schubert, Braden Ray out there, and Phil Campbell down, no good. And Phil Campbell's got it. Saint goes in, his shot no good. Red Bay with a rebound. Good job by Burks, long throw down the court to the Tigers, Allison. He tried to go back from Schubert, and Phil Campbell knocked it out of bounds. This game brought to you by Runny Cook and Modern Woodman to plan for your financial future. To learn more about member benefits, call Runny Cook. Three-point shot, Braden Ray is up and good. Tigers needed that one, Braden. 30 to 19 is your score. Red Bay leads by 11. And now we got a turnover against uh, Field Camel. Or are they going to call a foul? They're going to call a foul against Field Camel. Our Alpha Insurance replay brought to you by Mr. John Cook. There you see one from long range over there. That is, of course. Braden Ray, we're going to walk to the other end of the floor and shoot free throws. One and one for Hunter Burks. And the free throw is up and good by Hunter. He'll have another one coming. Ben Williams back into the ball game. Trenton McCullough out at the 105 mark. Free throw up, no good. It's out of bounds. And Phil Campbell will have it. Red Bay, 31-19 for Phil Campbell. We're in the third quarter with a minute four to go. Tomorrow night we'll be live in New Albany and also we'll be live at Alcorn Central tomorrow night with the Belmont Cardinals and the Chish County Braves. If everything goes good, we'll have live... Facebook Live broadcast of that game in New Albany. You'll be able to listen to the Belmont and Alcorn Central game. Steve Bates will be over there tomorrow night. Appreciate Jessica Fowler checking in. Andy Deaton back with us. Mr. Paul Stormont, Chris Blackburn out there. Miss Patricia Cole. Kathy Kirkendall Norman with us watching. 31 to 19 Red Bay. And the NBA plus three-pointer by Braden Ray is way on out there. Tigers somehow ended up with it. Hunter Burks will shoot a three. It's up. It's no good. Braden Ray with a putback. It's up and good. And he is foul. Let's take a quick look at that on our Alpha Insurance replay. Braden putting it back up. Let's see him do it again. Put it up, and it's good. He'll go to the line to shoot to, to try to complete that three-point play. And the free throw is up good. Braden's got 2, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 unofficial. Red Bay 34 to 19, 34 to 19. Appreciate all you folks that are watching on Facebook Live. I always ask you to share it. If you'll do that for me right now, I sure would appreciate it if you have not. Good penetration in and a dish off to Hunter Saint. 
and almost on the last second shot before the first half is over. There you see the made basket. You'll see the time's running out over midcourt and almost made it. I mean almost made it. Let's see if we can slow it down just a little bit. You can see there he releases it way past midcourt. And it's off the rim and almost went in. Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders performing across the way. Thank you, Miss, uh, Mr. Tory Louis, sharing with us tonight. Brett O'Rourke, thank you so much. Derek Conference is with us, Miss Rhonda Harden. Go Braden from old Paul Stormont down in uh, Belmont. Tina and Adam Hester with us, and let's listen to the Red Bay cheerleaders. And the Red Bay Tigers lead at halftime 34 to 21. 34 to 21. We're live at halftime. Once again, here is the cheerleaders from Phil Campbell. Then we're going to take a break. Once again, Red Bay leads 34 to 21 over Phil Campbell. Red Bay girls lose tonight to Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell girls 42 to 26. Red Bay B team wins tonight 37 to 21. And the cheerleaders doing a great job from Red Bay and Phil Campbell. Once again, we're at halftime. It's 34 to 21. 34 to 21. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy live for WRMG. Thirty-four to twenty-one as we start the third quarter. Welcome back to the broadcast here on WRNG. I'm going to welcome Mr. Bart Moss into our broadcast here. We're live in Phil Campbell. Hayden Deaton checking in. Got Phyllis Garrison that's joined us here at Mac Nevelin Williams. Got Miss Doan shots. Derek Humphreys, Rhonda Harden, and they shot up by the Bobcats to start the third quarter off, and that will make it a thirty-four to twenty-four game. Red Bay on top. Allison to Tanner Hamilton. Down to the baseline, Schubert. Schubert tries to go into Ray. I don't know how he got it, but he got it, couldn't finish it. Schubert put it up, it's no good. Here comes Phil Campbell pushing it up the court. Number five with the basketball over there, Williams. And the right side shot is up good. We'll take another look at that on our Alpha Insurance replay. Way on out there at the top of the key. And that'll make it 34 to 27 as Phil Cowell has knocked uh, down two big threes to start the uh, third quarter. 34-27, Jalen Vincent on the baseline. It's up no good. Schubert and a foul. They're going to get Schubert pushing off. Appreciate Deborah Townsend checking in with us. Do me a favor, share this link. We'll get the folks back on. We had a pretty good crowd watching before the first, as the first half ended. A lot of them took a break at halftime. Number one, Luke Garrison at the top of the key. Tigers almost swiped it over there. Garrison finally gets it now. Saint got number 14 way over here in the corner. Blaine Goodson, there's a shot top of the key. It's up, no good. Rebound, Red Bay's got it. Long throw down the court to Schubert and it's stolen away. And here comes Luke Garrison. Garrison drives all the way in. This shot blocked out of bounds uh, by the Red Bay Tigers. Alpha Insurance replay there at the end of it. You see it blocked out of bounds by the Tigers, Vincent. All right, exclusive live instant replay here on WRMG brought to you by Alpha Insurance, John Cook. Tigers have got it. Jalen Vincent for the layup. It's up and good. Jalen got way on up there, didn't he? 36 to 27 as Vincent got the basket for the Red Bay Tigers. 
Right side, driving in, Tigers block it out of bounds. We'll show you that uh, Jalen Benson play on. There you see that block out of bounds right there. If we can get back to live action here. Shot is up, it is so good. I hit it twice by accident and uh, didn't catch it. Raiden Ray, Clay Allison in the line. The shot is up, it is no good. You know, the game has just turned into a three-point game. It doesn't matter who you watch, uh, pretty much they just coming down firing threes. Don't seem like there's not much offense to uh, work the ball inside like the used to do in the days. Right now, it's, it's my turn to shoot another three. You just watch it. 37, uh, 36 Red Bay, 27. And now the Tigers have got a steal, and there's a holding foul against uh, number 12, Saint. Saint said, I'll grab him right here because he's fixing to head to the other end. There's Ryan Lancaster checking in. We got uh, Miss Lori Johnston uh, Harden with us. Red Bay. Saint will check out of the ball game. Tanner Hamilton of the Tigers in those powder blues. Jalen Vinson drives, kicks it back. Passing it around the horn. Clayton, Clay Allison drives, a little running shot, no good. The put back up and no good. And guess who finally got it and put it back in? The Red Bay Tigers got that one there from uh, Braden Ray. Ray's got 14 unofficial in the game. Red Bay back up to an 11-point lead is 38-27. And there's another three-point shot. in the corner over there. That'll make it 38 to 30. Tigers lob it into Schubert and Schubert is gonna be fouled on the floor. Appreciate uh, Patricia Gillian Roberts with us out there tonight watching the game. And Red Bay's gonna turn that ball over. 38 to 30, the lead. The Phil Campbell is gonna get it. Phil Campbell driving down to the baseline, kicks it back out. Kicking it back out to number one, Luke Garrison. Garrison on the right wing, penetrates in, a little running shot, it's up, it's no good. Schubert with the rebound to Braden Ray. Braden on the right side, stops, pulls up the long three, it's up and good. Braden Ray and the Red Bay Tigers back up by 11, as you can see. Now the Tigers have got them a steal in a hurry. Lead 41 to 30, 41 to 30. Long shot in the corner, Clay Allison almost falling out of bounds over there on that one. Puts Red Bay up by 14, so you've got a Braden Ray three and a Clay Allison three, 44 to 30. Driving it, kicking it out in the corner. Number 14 with the basketball, looks for help. Goes to Luke Garrison. 14, of course, is the world famous Blaine Goodson. And we've got a foul against the Red Bay Tigers or what? May get Jalen Vincent. Let's show you, let's see if we can show you Clay Allison's three in the corner there, bam. Show it to me again there, Jack Hyde. The Alpha Insurance John Cook replay. Michael Borden checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Roberts, saying we're sounding good. Hopefully it looks good and sounds good tonight. We're limited on our internet here, but it's uh, worked pretty good, except for maybe a quarter of the girls game. That second quarter was kind of terrible. Red Bay leads 44 to 30. Gage Bay's into the ball game. Hunter Burks, Arden Hamilton. Joins Clay Allison and Braden Ray. Arden Hamilton back to Braden. Braden sees a little opening down the lane. Shot up and no good. Rebound put back. Burks no good. It's out of bounds. It'll go to Phil Campbell. Two 
Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Third quarter, Red Bay 44, Phil Campbell 30. We're in Phil Campbell tonight. Driving the baseline, Tigers steal it, and it's out of bounds. Red Bay touched it last. Tomorrow night we'll be in New Albany. It'll be Tish County, New Albany. We should have that game on Facebook Live for you tonight. We'll also be at Alcorn Central, Belmont and Alcorn Central. 44 to 30. Driving it, ball in, shot is up, no good. Gage Bays down to Hunter Burks and the Red Bay in the powder blue with the ball. Bays left side, Kaiser Jackson thought about it. He'll drive in, has the ball stripped away and a foul. I guess the Bobcats. Those numbers are so small on the uniforms for a field camel. Hard to read. You can't, uh, unless they turn around, I can't see it. And they don't always turn around for me, if you know what I mean. Gage Bays to Jackson. Kaiser drives down to the baseline. He'll dribble it back out. Cut off there by number one, Luke Garrison. Over to Bays, now to the right side to Hunter Burks. Burks tried to go in, and the ball tipped away. Alex Kennedy into the ball game. Here's Luke kicking it back. Long three-point shot is up and good by Mr. Saint. That's Brett Saint knocking down that three. It's 44 to 33 with a minute 35 to go. Bays open for the three. It's long. No good. The putback by Hunter Burks is up and good. And that'll make it Red Bay 46 to 33 and a layup on the other end. Phil Campbell got a quick one from Luke Garrison there. That'll make it Red Bay 46 to 35. Pass by Burke stolen away. Down to Luke. Luke Garrison drives, puts it up good. Cuts it to a nine point lead. So Red Bay will get up by 14 or so. And here comes Phil Campbell right back. 54 seconds to go. Red Bay, I think, uh, would be tickled to go for the last shot right here. Kaiser Jackson, Hunter Burks. Gage Bays, all the guards after Kennedy high post, low post is Arden Hamilton. Arden. I don't think has been told that they're thinking about going for a last shot. Arden kicks it back out, 24 seconds to go. Red Bay with a nine point lead. Arden Hamilton, baseline jumper, good. Good job, Arden, about 10 feet out. That makes it 48 to 37. Bay Diesel and air conditioning, your authorized freight line and RV dealer. Thank you, Chris and Valerie Mar. The Tigers get a steal, will not get a shot off. And we have played three quarters. Red Bay 48 to 37. Red Bay 48 to 37. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Miss Ann Vincent out there with us tonight. Thank you, Miss Ann. Also checking in with us, Miss Sherry Shook out there tonight. We got a 48 to 37 lead, 48 to 37 lead. Red Bay on top. Tell you how much we we'll appreciate all of our great sponsors here tonight. Thank you, Miss Veronica Stancil, who's running for Revenue Commissioner. Keep 30 years working for you. Also, big shout out tonight to Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Also by Fastwick Car Wash out on Highway 19 of Red Bay. Home owned and home operated. Miss Ann Vincent says, go Tigers tonight. Big shout out tonight to the Cardinal Drive-In Community Spirit Bank. Dickey Sparks CPA, Red Bay Rentals with Johnny Weatherford. The Belmont Restaurant and Cafe in Belmont, Wallace and Glenda Williams. Open 11 to two Monday through Friday and also on Church Sunday. They order off the menu on Friday and Saturday night. You have the steaks and fish and chicken and salads. Of course, that is in Belmont. Make sure you tell them you heard about it on WRMG. Don't forget about Explore Liquidations, bid auction, three-pointer. In and out, no good by Gage Bays. He got his own rebound back to Arden Hamilton. That big auction is Saturday night in Fulton. Jackson's three up and no good. 
Rebound goes to Phil Campbell. The auction, by the way, Saturday night in Fulton starts at 5 o'clock. Baseline jumper, Phil Campbell no good. Arden Hamilton with a rebound. Appreciate the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council, and also Red Bay Nutrition as a Tigers, Hunter Burks just got a charging foul. We'll be getting out of here in a hurry after this one. Red Bay leads 48-37, 7-17 to go. Live on WRMG, live from Phil Camel, Alabama. Thank you, Bay Tree Gift Company, Laura Beth Roberts. They just got back from market, as I told you earlier, and you can't imagine what they've bought. And we got a foul against Phil Camel. Uh, illegal screen, and Red Bay is going to make some substitution. Braden Ray back in, Tanner Hamilton, Jalen Vinson, Clay Allison, Lane Schubert back into the ball game. Today's game brought to you by Swamp Johns. You need to mark this down. They've got brand new hours, five in the morning till seven at night, Monday through Thursday, five in the morning till seven at night. Order off the menu, still got to buffets at lunch and breakfast, but anything on the menu is available. Now, on Friday and Saturday, they're going to be open 5 in the morning till 8 at night. The brand new, original Swamp Johns. Thank you, Mr. John, and down to Lane Schubert. And Schubert got that one. Nicely done. You see it passed down there on the Alpha Insurance replay. 50 to 37 with 6 minutes and 28 seconds to go. Appreciate the Bay Auto Service and detailing on the Golden Road, a big sponsor of the game today. Along with Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore. Red Bay 50, 37 for Phil Campbell. Kicking it out in the corner. And I believe he got out of bounds. Number 24 there. That's a Easton Cummins. So Red Bay's gonna get it back with 6.04 to go. Nice crowd made it over to, for the Red Bay game tonight. Good crowd here in Phil Camel. Five minutes and 55 seconds to go. Vinson. Over to Clay Allison. Schubert was open in there and kind of wanting it, but they didn't give it to him. Now they do, and you see what he can do when you get it in there. Well, he missed it, but uh, normally on that shot, he's going to make it. And good job getting back and blocking that one. What's the Red Bay Tigers? Brett St. will inbound. If you just happen to join us, uh, honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight. Red Bay leads 50 to 37. If you'd like to be a sponsor of our basketball playoffs coming up, we will be starting to sell the area playoffs like almost immediately. So if you'd like to sponsor, send me a message. We'll be glad to get you on. We need your help. I promise you that. Fifty to thirty-seven. Long shot. Phil Camel, no good. And we got a whistle and a foul against Phil Camel. I believe that was Roger Jean. At Try that long one, or it could have been uh, Ben Williams. I'm not sure which. Told you it's hard to see those numbers on the front. Fifty to thirty-seven. When they order these jerseys, they don't think about, I guess, anybody having to see them. We got a whistle, and he's going to get the basket in there. I may back to back it up a little bit farther to show you the whole thing. We're talking about the. We'll see the ball in. He kicks it right back in to Braden Ray, and Ray able to finish it there. Now he'll shoot the free throw to complete that three-point play. Good job, Braden. Braden unofficial later tonight, 14, 17, 18, about 20 points. Red Bay leads 53 to 37. Number one, Luke Garrison running it down to the backcourt. It was tipped by the Tigers. Driving the baseline, kicking it over here in the corner to Ben Williams. Uh, back to 24 Cummins, and he's going to be charged with a walk. Thank you, Randy Reno, checking in with us. We got Miss Carol 
Reynolds. We got Lori Childers checking in with us. Appreciate you joining us here on Facebook Live tonight from Phil Campbell, Alabama. Red Bay in and a reach-in foul against Phil Campbell on Braden Ray. Both teams about five team fouls. Nope. Is it, how many is it? I can't see on Phil Campbell. How many, how many fouls is it on Phil Campbell? Seven? Is that seven now? I couldn't see it good. They had six, and that was the seventh. Five against Red Bay. I can see it. Clay Allison out of the game. Jalen Vincent out. Dawson Wright in. Jaden Anderson into the ball game. And Braden Ray with a chance to add to his totals tonight. He had a collision earlier that I didn't see. And Randall said, I think he talked to his dad. He ran into Jalen, and man. 54-37 is his free throws good. He's got 21 unofficial. Appreciate uh, Coach Riddle and all the great staff here at Phil Campbell always being nice to us. Free throw are good. Red Bay will bring in Arden Hamilton. Braden Ray will check out to a big round of applause. Good night for the Tiger Junior, 55 to 37. When Marlon Saint puts his jacket on, that means the game's getting about to be over. He's putting that big jacket on over there right now, getting his chair, and he says, Mama, we're going to the house. So Miss Mary, whether she's ready to go or not, uh, he's heading down the steps. And there's a block and a foul. He didn't foul when he made the block. He fouled after the fact. Marlon says, I'm gone, and uh, Mama's still sitting in her seat. she got to get her coat ready to go outside in this cold weather. She's buttoning her coat up. 55 to 37, you worse than Strick. You know Strick. Three minutes and 54 seconds. Strick, I may be watching tonight. Audrey Lee Goss out there with us tonight, thank you. And there's a shot up by Phil Campbell, good. Our internet was pretty good until just right now. 55 to 39, 3.38 to go. Good thing it's at the end of the ball game and it cutting out on us. Judy Pruitt with us. It's worked most of the night except for just a little part in that girls game. Red Bay 55, 39. Anderson on the right wing. Inside to Schubert. Schubert puts it up good. That was a nice move to the basket there by Schubert man. 14 driving in, and he is going to score and going to be fouled. Wayne Goodson is fouled by Schubert. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, honored to have you here this evening on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Forty, fifty-seven to 41 with two minutes and 50 seconds to go in the game. Tigers with Gage Bays, Jaden Anderson. Jaden kicks that ball back out. Dawson Wright open for the three. It's up, it's no good. Rebound, Kennedy's got it. Kennedy the put back, no good. Kennedy got the rebound again. Kennedy's gonna go back up and he's gonna get the basket. Good job, Alex Kennedy, fighting on those boards. You'll see the battle in there, and he finally got it in good. And Red Bay's going to get it right back on the other end. Honored to have you on the broadcast here tonight. Thanks to all of our great sponsors like Red Bay Yacht Club Restaurant, located at Red Bay Acres, 996 9th Street in Red Bay. Come on by and see us open. Early in the morning, 7 to 2, Monday through Friday. Even open on the weekends as well. You can call 333-4438 or go to redbayacres.com uh, for the complete menu. Got those burgers, got a great breakfast, and Dawson Wright 
knocking down the three in the corner. And the Red Bay Tigers lead 62 to 41. 62 to 41, that's Dawson's second three in the game. And the Tigers, Jaden Anderson with it. Jaden all the way down, stops and takes a little extra step. Unofficially, Braden Ray with about 22 to lead the Tigers. It's just spread out. Clay Allison got a three. Dawson Wright got two threes. Uh, Jaden Anderson got a three. Braden Ray got a couple of threes in the game. So Red Bay 62 to 41. Number zero driving that baseline, tries to kick it back in the middle, stolen by Arden Hamilton. Arden taking it up. Arden lays it in good. 64 to 41. Driving in the lane, Phil Campbell shot, no good. Tipped out, and I believe Phil Campbell is still going to have it. We apologize right here at the end of the game, the internet uh, messing up on us here in Phil Campbell. It's been pretty good tonight. Thank the good Lord for that. That was able to bring most of it without uh, it being choppy. But we're just about through anyway. 64 to 41, and we got a reach-in foul against the Tigers. Thank you, Stevie Harris, Johnny Martha Cleveland with us out there. I know y'all joined in right here when the internet's kind of messing up here at Phil Campbell. But Free throw is up, it's no good. That foul, by the way, was against Alexander as Saint couldn't get the free throw to go. Dawson Wright said, hey, give me another chance at another three over there before this is over. And that long pass for Gage Bays stolen away. A little bit too far away, and that one was swiped away. He was open when he threw it, but you gotta put something on that one, and that makes it 64 to 43. He looked wide open from when the pass was thrown, but you gotta put a little more on it. Jaden put a lot on that one. Down to seven seconds. The final score is going to be Red Bay 64, Phil Campbell 43. Red Bay 64, Phil Campbell 43. That's your final in the Varsity Boys. Once again, Red Bay Boys win 64-43. Red Bay JV wins tonight 37-21, and the Red Bay Girls lose 42-26. That is going to wrap up a broadcast live here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. For Randall Lindsay, Denise Abaki Control Center, I'm Jack Ivey saying good night. May God bless you. We'll see you next time for more Red Bay Tiger basketball and good night from Phil Campbell, Alabama, on this, your hometown station.